Okay, here we are back with Agatha Christie, The ABC Murders. We're going to, took a long time to type that whole title out, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, so we are going to give this one a whirl. I don't know anything about this game like most games I play, uh, except that some people on Steam were complaining that the puzzles were too easy. So um, that seemed like just the game for me. So we'll see if that ends up being true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, create a new profile. Okay. Well, we're going to be Hercule Poirot. Why would we want to be anything else? Uh, you know, I've had this on my list for a pretty long time. And when I play a game, uh, then I like to play another game that's quite different. So when I was looking down my list last night, knowing we were getting to the end of Unravel, I thought, well, this might be a good time to play this one. All right, so here we go. Oh, it looks cool. June 18, 1935 in London. Oh, I love the art style. Some post for you, Poirot. Mr. Hercule Poirot. You fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor, thick-head British police? Let us see, Mr. Clever Poirot, just how clever you can be. Perhaps you'll find this nut too hard to crack. Look out for Endover on the 21st of the month. Yours extra, A, B, C. Oh, it's some sort of joke. Maybe. But please remind me to inform Chief Inspector Jap. ABC. Ah, so clever, clogs. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I have certainly seen the show. Read all the books. I've read this book, but it's been a long time, so I won't be worrying that it doesn't, if it doesn't fit, it won't bother me. And I won't remember who did it, more importantly. <laughs> I've got new lights. I've got to adjust them. I just, I just got them last night, and I can tell they're not quite doing what I need them to do yet. In fact, hang on one second. Turn this light off. <laughs> See if that helps. Uh, that did not help. That actually made it worse. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Here, Poirot, the the problem is I can't street. test them when I'm not on the air because I can't see them. <laughs> the the of okay, let's see. Street. Look, there's Chief Inspector Jap. He's talking with the police. Oh, policeman. nice. That's nice. Let's try not to get our shoes wet. Have I seen 50 unwords to unlock? Good. Well, I'm assuming we get to go now. Oh, we'll use the left stick to move. Use the right stick. Use this to find elements. When you find an element, available interactions will be indicated. Okay, cool. Let's go talk to... Is theft the motive for the crime? Don't dilly-dally, Poirot. Jap will be waiting for us. Wow, that seemed kind of aggressive for his... Man Friday, or whatever his, his Hastings is called. Over here, it's Hastings and Poirot. You missed the nine o'clock train? <laughs> we took the half past ten. Luckily, the service is good to Andover. So, Chief Inspector, what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. She was killed yesterday with a blow to the back of the head. At what time? Oh. Let me just check. Oh, no. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I want it to be easy. <laughs> In order to observe him or her and obtain clues about their state of mind. Right stick to inspect Inspector Jap and then observe. Okay. Oh, I see. Hmm, interesting. What are we observing? Find three clues that agree with Hercule Poirot's remark. Use the right stick to guide your gaze. Is Jap being too relaxed? Let us find the clues that prove it. Being too relaxed. 
Doesn't seem all that relaxed to me. Honestly. Relaxed out. He doesn't seem relaxed. He seems like he's checking for something in his pockets. His head's all wrinkly, too, like he's Indeed, worried. Poirot. We were used to seeing you judge people with more discretion. <laughs> oh, slight smile. Oh, my goodness. And what else do we have? We do have a lot of... Um, a lot of haptics in our... Look, his forehead's Indeed, all wrinkly. Poirot. We were used to seeing you judge people with more discretion. Something else up here. Okay, hat tipped proudly on the back of his head. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Jap is in a good mood. I bet he thinks he's already called the culprit. Mm-hmm. The last customer to see Mrs. Asher alive left her shop at half past five. <laughs> he was found at around 11 in the evening by an officer doing his rounds. The shop door was open. That's what alerted him. Had anything been taken? A little tobacco, maybe, but you'd hardly murder for a few smokes. There's Hopefully. There's nothing of any real value in the shop. Alice Asher, she's our A. Oh, no worries at all, Dark Crimson Kitty. You enjoy no your children. time, and I'm just glad to have <laughs> you watching. Aha, uh -huh. Franz Asher, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. Mm. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife and threatened to kill her. Oh, we don't like that. Do you think he's guilty? We'll look for Franz Asher. If he doesn't have an alibi, the case is closed. A very unoriginal murder. But that. May I examine the crime scene? Of course, old chap. You enjoy I'll Animal you Crossing, too. I haven't played that. One of my nieces plays that a lot. All right, let's see here. Press any directional button to open the investigation menu. Brain, notebook, or objectives. Okay, let's take a look at that. Whoops. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. I heard a lot about it, of course. I know a lot of people play it. She owns a tobacco shop. She's married to Franz Asher, who is a meanie, and she lived alone. She was killed in her tobacco shop by a blow to the back of her head. 50 years old in Andover. Okay, what's this one say? Inspect the crime scene. So that tells us what we are doing. Is theft the mo Oh, this is the... <laughs> oh, uh... The aim is to answer the question he asks himself by establishing links between the clues in order to deduce an answer. Directional buttons on the left stick. Cross button to select or deselect clues to answer the question. Oh, I played something that had this kind of thing. I can't remember what it was now. Okay, we're, we don't want to do that yet. Okay, here's the store. Can be modified. See whether an icon of the hand is available. Okay, so now we're in. Oh, look at her laying there. Man, that's tough. What do we got in our store? Observe the object from all angles. It's not just any railway guide. It's an ABC. Oh, I, I mean, I've really forgotten this whole... This whole... Look, I've, it's been years. I may have even seen the movie, actually. But uh, I just don't remember it at all. We'll see if it comes to me. I hope it doesn't, because I don't want to know who did it before it's we're supposed to know. At the letter a. Okay, and her it's name is A. Hmm. Very interesting, Franz Asher, with the letter A. Okay, what else do we have? Do we have our lunch here? Red liquid is Ooh, oozing out. yikes. Is it blood? It's no, strawberries. It's just some strawberries that are losing their juice. They probably come from the fruit and vegetable shop opposite. David Suchet, yeah, he's everybody's poor Poirot, isn't he? Okay, that's two. He is he is the perfect Poirot, I I think. What do we have down here? A 
Okay, can we look at other stuff? That was two things. That is right. How do we explain the presence of an ABC guide on the counter? Maybe she was going somewhere. Wait, we got something else to find. The newspaper? The place is unusually tidy for a crime scene. Oh, I missed the third clue. Okay, no signs of struggle on the floor of the other thing. Uh. Oh, that was still this. Okay. What else do we have? Let's go. Oh, no, let's not do that yet. We haven't even looked at our stuff here. She just has one wound on the back of the head. There are no other wounds or signs of a struggle. No blood either. She just has one wound on the back of the head. There are no Sorry. other wounds or signs of a struggle. <laughs> I'm figuring out how... Oh, no, don't tell me I did it again. All right, let's see. There are cigarettes packets in a mess on the shelf. Hmm. All right, I don't know if that, which of my one, two, three, four, five that was. Okay, we already did that one. Ooh, is there money in the till? Objects hide secrets behind complex mechanisms. It's up to you to decipher them in order to find out what they're hiding. Observe the object from all angles. Hand icon is pointing to an element. Press L2 to go back. Press the circle. Hold down the L2 to take it, then move it with the right stick. Press the circle button to cancel the action. The teal does not appear to have been touched. I have to check that nothing is missing from it. Oh. It would be best to examine the rest of the teal. Uh... So, um, is preventing the drug was it still drug winter drug. when you left, Maruski? So we got through the winter, and some we got through the end and of the winter part because uh, someone picked us up and put us in their purse, and then uh, when we came to, it was spring, and then we had a really fun kind of pretty swooping through this spring thing and got back into the house, and there were children there. And um, that was basically the end, that her grandkids had come to visit. It was really sweet. It's only a few minutes, so you can watch my VOD if you would like. <laughs> Something oh. is preventing the drawer so now we're opening. playing. Yeah, it was really, it's cute. I really enjoyed that game in spite of struggling a little bit with it. Um, I really did enjoy it very much. It's only, it was only just a few. So this is uh, Agatha Christie's ABC murders that we're watching right now. All right. I mean, that we're playing. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What else can we do? Something is sticking in it. Whoops. Ah, a mechanism ah. has just made a fan click. Any little secret compartments on the bottom? All right. Wait, can we just pull it open? No. Can we push the little button? The teal is full of money, but there is something strange. Hmm. What is strange, Poirot? Something is hidden underneath. Something is hidden underneath. Something is hidden underneath. Ah. Summer cottage. That's nice. Something is hidden underneath. Yes, yes, I understand. Something's hidden underneath. But let's see what we can think about that. Is there anything else we can do in the drawer? To see what's hidden underneath? I 
I know, that is for sure. Do not have the little gray cells. Wait, I can't look underneath. Wait a minute. And I don't, can I pull up the little tabby thing? I know he's going to tell me something's Some hidden underneath. Hidden Sorry. <laughs> hmm. What should I do with my little gray cells? I want to pull on this little tab, but it won't let me. It's not letting, letting me look underneath. Can I pull the drawer out more? I mean, in real life, you got to admit that's what we would do, right? We would take... We would pull that little tab, we would take the drawer out and flip it over, or worst case, we would pick up the cash register and dump it over. Let's see if we can flip our little switch again. Oh, now it won't let me. Hmm. Well, I don't know, Poirot. Something is in <laughs> I'm aware of that. <laughs> I don't think it's going to let me do anything else from this view. Except note that something is hidden underneath. Yeah, that's all I can do. Oops. So we shall. Let's see, can we close our drawer? Wait, what is on the other side? What is happening right here? <laughs> oh, wait, something happened there. Oh, no, nothing. We already know what that one is. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. But I do want to know what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Why is it just flipping me around back around to the front? All right, let's try. Oh, let's see. What goes in that? What goes in that space? Wait, 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 wait. Go back around to the drawer. I'm not going to know the money, so I won't know what to push. Maybe that isn't the secret anyway. Ugh. Man, I'm having, sorry, I'm having a hard time with the controls. <laughs> They're running amok. All right, let's see. Can we do something here? Uh, two. Where's the one that said two? We don't have one that says we have 11, 10. Darn, that seemed like that might be it. All right, we're just going to go down all the buttons and push them. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. I need to find the code. <sighs> find the code. So, oh, something, something, two. And we got, oh, okay, here we go. So it's eight. All right, I'm getting it. Eight, five, two. Okay. All right. The cash register. Okay, here's an eight. need to find the code wait I had the code what are you talking about Woo! yay this must be the key to the back of the shop Oh, 
ego points. <laughs> With the left and right buttons, press the cross button to grab it. Use the right stick to move that item to the right place. Can also be examined more closely. Uh, okay. Well, I, my ego points are feeling good about that whole situation. I'm not sure I got all the clues, though. All right, let me look at this again. Yeah, I missed a clue here somewhere. It's not just any railway guide. It's an ABC. Okay. It's open at the letter A. There are no prints on the book. Okay, so I guess that was all of the clue for that. And this is the strawberry seeping out. Red liquid is oozing out. Is it blood? Something tells me I don't have a, um, a future as a no. detective. It's just some strawberries <laughs> that are losing their juice. They probably come from the fruit and vegetable shop opposite. Nor as a mystery writer. Alas. All right, so we had those two. What else is here? Let us carefully examine our surroundings. The counter is very clean. Oh, here we go. The counter is covered. Oh, it's covered with fingerprints. I guess it's not clean. I just meant it. There was nothing on it. <laughs> okay, so that was those three. And I think I only got one of these five back here, so there let's see. Yeah, it's packets in a mess on the shelf. Okay. I've won the single gear award. I don't know what that means, but okay. And the blood. Oh, and five ego points. My ego is definitely feeling a little bit better now. It was getting a little bruised there for a while. Oh, I only got one of five here. That's not helping my ego very much. Let's see what else we can find. So here is a blood spot. This poor woman's head is resting in a very even-shaped pool of blood. Yeah, it is. And it's actually not attached to her head. I, in real life, noticed that right away. Okay. I don't see any other mark on the floor. Okay, now I'm kind of getting the swing of it. This poor woman's head is resting oh, in a very even-shaped pool of blood. <laughs> All right, that's the you hit her on the head. So I got those three. Here's some here's some matches. Of place oh, cigarettes. To her hand. Did she drop it when she fell? Mm -hmm. Or did the murderer drop it? That's what I'm wondering. What else can we find? One more clue. She has very tiny feet. I guess that's not a clue. Oh. Hmm. The body is hidden by the counter and is not visible from the tobacco shop store. Many customers might have thought that Mrs. Asher had popped out. Okay, that's our five there. Woohoo! Okay, any other clues in the shop before we go in the back door? Now that I've mostly already forgotten how to work the key. Let's see. I don't know what that hand is telling me. I've finished with this subject. Oh, okay. All right, Poirot, what else do we have? This, uh, no, no, we're not going outside. We've barely started. Did I get all the clues over here? No, I got no clues over here. <laughs> now my ego is not feeling the points anymore. Okay, yeah, that's one. Here's a new one. Well-ordered shelves, no signs of a struggle. So we didn't have a big tussle with our murderer. I do read a lot of murder mysteries, so I should be better at this. Oh, and now the newspaper. Okay. Nothing no. suggests any sign of a fight. I got that one. All right. I think we're getting the swing of it. Oh, Inspector Jap. What can we do for you? So, Poirot, 
Any news? So, an ABC guide with no fingerprints, but prints all over the counter. Normally, the tobacco shop does not sell ABC guides. Mm. Exact. Mon ami, could you have a word with the neighbors? Some may have seen something. Of course, my friend. I'll do it straight away. Thank you, Inspector Chap. In the meantime, I'm not going to tell you that I have a key to the back room, and I'm going to go in there and use it. The door is locked. Ah, uh, okay. So, oh, there's our image. Oh, wait, how do we do that? How do I get it? How do we explain? No, no, not that. I don't know how to get... I know it was telling me, but <laughs> there it is. Okay, use. You might need to get out of the way, Praro. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. Okay, five more ego points. Man, I'm feeling better about myself by the minute. What a strange box. It looks yes. like you have to slide oh, to that. Oh, thinking. Point. Yeah, okay. What do we got here? Mm, it is blocked. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's the one we just moved, right? Is it? Oh, man. Okay, take and move. I'm not sure what effect this is having on what's going on at the top. Probably nothing. And now I'll forget how it was originally. Oh, look at that. Now what do we this do? This button appears to activate the mechanism. Aha! Now what? Wait, let's look at the top first. Can we do that? Uh... <gasps> Oops. We're getting it. Okay. Is that all of them? Whoops. <laughs> if I could control myself better, uh, One more. Maybe this will be the last one. Oops. That should do it. <gasps> Ooh, we figured the box out. And then we slide it open, and there's a gun inside. Oh, it goes this way. Ooh, jewelry and a picture. Let us just see what we see here. Who is this young woman? That is a question. To my to dear my Aunt, dear Aunt Alice. Alice, married Howard. Oh, sorry, he's saying it. <laughs> sorry, Poirot. Wait, what about the jewelry? We didn't want to look at that. Have you found anything? Another A, Aunt Alice. The victim has a niece. We must find her. Oh, I guess Alice Asher. That's our A. The victim. I guess the earrings were of no account. Okay. I've finished with this subject. Okay. Then shall we walk around, look at some more objects? Wait, let's look in the mirror. We know Poirot is kind of vain. <laughs> I was hoping he was going to do that. <laughs> That's good. 
this interior is very simple. Oh, it's very simple. Modest crockery. A simple tap. And an old stove. Mrs. Asher lived very simply. She did. My very first apartment, I had a very dangerous uh, gas heater in my bathroom with a flat top. And I kept a kettle like that on top of it so that I always had hot water. It was so cold in there. I, uh, it's been, I don't know, 30 years ago or more. And I still remember it very, with a shudder. <laughs> Oh, another box. Another puzzle. Ah. All right, let's see. What can we do with this puzzle? Mm, it is blocked. It is blocked. Of course it's blocked. Let's see. This seems like our little thing here. All right, so we're going to do this maze. This doesn't seem that hard. Um, Such a pretty decoration should be at the center of the motif to respect the symmetry. All right, let me see here. I'm assuming we're making a little bit. Oh, we got. Oh, 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 oh. I was. Ah, oh, bummer. I was hoping they all. I gotta move all three of them. I was hoping it was just the middle one that, and this one that moved. All right. But maybe if I start from the middle. Possibly, possibly. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think it's going to be that easy. <laughs> I wonder, does the outside one move? The wooden flower is preventing the circle from turning. Okay, too bad. All right, so it could be... Could be there. And then let's try this one. No. No. Oh, it has a little snap in, so you can't just stop it anywhere. Huh, that seems good. Can we move this one? Oh no, that won't help us. Okay. All right, let's get this one spun back around over here. There's only two that lead to the middle, so let's see. No. And how many of these lead to the flower? Oh, so of course it goes the other way. All right, or this one. All right, I'm getting it now. You don't actually have that many choices in spite of how it looks. Oh, there we go. Let's see if that works. I heard a faint sound as if <gasps> something was unlocked. All right. Mm, it is blocked. Still blocked? Wait a minute. Hmm, it is blocked. Guess that was too easy. Did sound like something was unlocked, didn't it? Uh, we're gonna have to push some buttons here? Come on. Uh, 
Oh. Oh, okay. Look at these. These drawings appear to be attached to the chest of drawers. They won't move. Well, that doesn't help me. Are they all the same? These drawings appear to be attached to the chest of drawers. They won't move. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to quit. I want to move the box around. All right, let's look at these drawings. Oh, <gasps> these ones move. Hmm. A clue. All right, let's look at the ones. Wait, let me see what that one looks like again. No, stop telling me that. Just because I'm pushing the wrong buttons, there's no reason to keep asking me that question. All right, that one kind of... I don't know what that's supposed to look like, but let's look at the top of the chest. Can I get some perspective here, please? Wait. Okay. So this guy... is upside down are they all upside down just based on the uh no <laughs> all right let me look at all of them just to be clear what we're doing here okay These drawings appear to be attached yeah. to the chest yep, of yep, drawers yep. thank you move. thank you poirot All right, so we're going to turn our crane thing, whatever this one is, upside down. Okay. What's the next one? All right, this kind of chickadee looking one, he is... Let's find his buddy up here on top. His head's kind of pointing to the left. Oops. Okay. Well, that's good. I don't actually have to <laughs> be all that exact with it. <laughs> all right. Now we got this guy. His beak is pointing straight up. All righty. Oh, yay. More ego points. I wish she had some laudanum in there. Not a letter. From Mr. Adam Flint, Royal Bank, Eastfield Road, Andover. To Mrs. Alice Asher, 5 Bishops Road, Andover. Dear Mrs. Asher, further to your request of 12 February 1935, I have informed my superiors of your wish to apply for a loan to acquire mm. the lease of the shop you rent from Mr. Fairfax. Oh, her... Despite the seriousness of your case, I regret to inform you that your request has been denied. The amount of your personal contribution, £11, is not high enough and represents too small a part of the final transaction. Oh, so I she can't your get the lease for any questions. from Mr. Fairfax. Mrs. Asher's meager savings were not enough for her to own the tobacco shop, but will largely cover her funeral costs. Oh, that's sad. All right, then we got some laudanum. Medicine. 
medicine. Is that all we have to say about it? Okay. Anything else in there to look at? Oh, it says I got two things. Wait, didn't I look at two things? The letter and the and the medicine? All right, we got all of that. Wonder why I didn't get credit for this. Medicine. Okay. Seems like I should that should have been my two, huh? The letter and the laudanum. But clearly I am wrong. Wait, can I turn it so I can see in there a little bit better? I don't know why it's not giving me credit for both. Because I found both. Did it only give me credit for the letter? Or only give me credit for the laudanum? I don't want to read the letter again, but let's just see. From Mr. Adam no, Fleet. we don't want to do that again. Despite the seriousness of your... Mrs. Asher's meager savings were not enough for her to own the tobacco shop, but will largely cover her funeral costs. Okay, so I'm guessing it only gave me credit for the letter, since he didn't deduce anything from the... Medicine, right? Medicine. Hmm. I don't know how to make him. Can we take a swig? We don't actually have any ability to do anything other than look at our look at our stuff from here. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I don't know. Inspect Mrs. Asher's bedroom. Inspect the crime scene. Is that what we're in? Her bedroom right now? Okay. Okay, so that's all we got in our little book, is it? Oh, this, she's a suspect, Mary Drower? How did she become a suspect? Maybe just because she's the only other person we know so far? And then what do our little gray cells? ABC guy, was she killed on site? Is theft the motive for the crime? Uh, let's see if we can solve any of these yet. I'm guessing, uh, let's see, a pool of blood near her head. Found at 11 p.m. 5.30. No other marks on the floor. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with these. Drag them up there, maybe? Uh, wait, undo those. Okay, so these are the things we're supposed to know to help us know the answer. No marks on the floor. Uh, okay, she was killed. No, I think, no, she wasn't killed on site. Well, maybe she was, I don't know. <laughs> Mrs. Asher was killed here. The okay. absence of marks in the shop and the regular shape of the blood stains indicated beyond a doubt. Okay, her head was not on the blood. Her head was moved from the blood and the shop was pretty clean. So I'm not sure how that indicates she was killed on site. And, of course, it does not solve the problem of the second clue that we're not getting credit for here. And I do not know what I'm supposed to do about that. So we shall continue to look around the bedroom. And that was a lot of work for one clue. Oh, I've won the Neuron Award. <laughs> oh, look, blood on the pillow. <laughs> Good morning, last one. How are you doing? <laughs> blood. All right, why would she have 
blood. Oh, maybe she has like TB or something. Did Alice Asher suffer from nosebleeds? Oh. Who is the picture of? Mm -hmm. An inscription in German. Souvenir of our honeymoon in the Black Forest. To my Alice. So we are good. We finished uh, Unravel this morning. Had a very sweet ending to the game. We finished it so quickly that we had to move along to a new game, the Agatha Christie Murders. Oh, two ego points. Man, my ego is busting out this morning. All right, so we got our ch that box. We fussed with ourselves in the mirror. We checked out over here. The only we missed one clue over there at the other box, but I am not sure what we were supposed to do over there. It's something to do with our I think we got all these things. Something to do with our with that bottle of medicine, I feel certain, but I don't know how to make it. We'll look one more time, but I think it gave us the letter and it didn't give us the medicine. And I don't think there's anything else to look at, is there? I love the art style of this game. It's sort of sh this cell shading, I think it's called. If that's what this is. Yeah, so we got our two things, but it's only giving us credit for one of them. And I think... The one it's not giving me credit for is the medicine. And I don't know why. Medicine. Well, we saw it. I'm not going to worry about the clue. Even though it's, you know, hurting now my ego points. Oh, here we go. Mrs. Hasha, Andover Morley Laboratory, London. You've only it's looked at that to find five such times. An elaborate medicine from a leading London laboratory in the home of such a modest woman. Hmm. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Uh, I don't know. All right, let's see. Is theft the motive for the crime? What are our clues here? No objects of value for sale in this shop. No railway guide for sale in the shop, and the money is untouched. So I'm going to say those are our clues. Theft is not the motive for the crime. She was killed in the shop, and theft was not the motive. The motive is definitely not financial gain. There is no sign of a struggle, and the till has not been forced or emptied. I think I've looked everywhere here. Let us see if I can find any more information in the shop's surroundings. Okay, we're making some progress here. Oh, do I have to? Oh, okay. Look, the door's standing open. I didn't know what I was supposed to do there. <laughs> all right, let's go outside. I hope we close the door behind us. It is a crime scene after all. Uh, I haven't seen the 50 awards to unlock, but I'll probably manage to avoid, not worry for about that. For letters, a lovely lot of letters for pens only. See that rat running around there? A bottle of poor quality vinegar. The smell could awaken <laughs> the dead. Ouch, man. What do you know, missus? This woman appears to be a smoker. What else do we know about her? Oh, those are the cigarettes that were on the... F oh, those are... Now they're matches. Okay, when they were on the floor in the crime scene, they were cigarettes. I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same box. Maybe you can stare at people like that where you come from, but here it's very rude. <laughs> okay, well, so we got our three things. Sorry, She's lady. She's a big smoker. She must have been a customer at the tobacco shop. Aha! Uh -huh. We did ask Inspector Jap to talk to these people, but... Ask the price of lettuce. <laughs> Say the strawberries were not fresh. Pretty sure those are going to make her mad. Okay, let's ask did her about the Alice victim. Asher, well? And for starters, who are you? I'm Hercule Poirot, the detective. 
You're foreign, that's for sure, with your accent and your odd way about you. And you'll hear about Alice's murder, I suppose. Well, I've nothing to say to you. Oh, maybe we should have started with the lettuce. No, I never saw her. Uh, ask nicely. Please try and help me, madame. Why should I help you? For your beautiful moustache? That's a good reason. Come on, move along now. You're scaring away my customers. Please, do not be ridiculous. Uh, say that she went into the shop. See, say that the victim came to see her. <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> uh, I want to start over because I want to ask her about the lettuce. Because that was like it would have been a nice lead in. Say that the victim came to see her. Say, oh, we're going to say. I she know that you went to the tobacco shop yesterday. Well. Oh, eco points. Um, it is your duty to tell me. I don't think she's the murderer. Usual. I mean, who do you think you are telling me what to do? Get I... away from my stall! All right, she's contemptuous again. We didn't handle that very well. Oh, but I won the award, Rustic Confessional, <laughs> and her vinegar's bad anyway. Let's see if we can ask her about the lettuce. Oh, you again? <laughs> I have nothing to say. All right, dang it, I lost my chance. Okay, maybe that's as far as I can go this direction. Let's see if we can go the other way. Strawberries, six pence a pound! Well, your strawberries hey, aren't fresh. Is the greengrocer causing trouble? <laughs> I'll sort her out. <laughs> now please leave her, Chief Inspector. I'll get her to talk later. I'm going to ask I her about her lettuce. She's oh, waiting for you in the nice. The shop. Thank you, mon ami. I'll question her. Plus, other than being slightly rude, I don't think the greengrocer killed her. Strawberries! Get your delicious strawberries here! Uh, okay, I can keep walking this way, so I guess I won't. <clears throat> what was Mrs. Asher doing when she was killed? Let's see what Hastings has to say. Niece. Oh, She's that's Jap. You <laughs> Thank you, mon ami. I'll question her. In the back of the shop. Alright, let's go back in. All right, well, I'm feeling pretty good that I have uh, solved two puzzles so far <laughs> without too much trouble. <laughs> Jap had the body removed out of oh. respect for the victim's niece. His attention is commendable. And scrub the blood off the floor. See how that little pack? That was matches, except he said it was cigarettes, except when it was at the grocer's, it was matches. Well, that's a little weird. All right, oh, I'm sorry for your loss. Is her grief sincere? Oh, she's crying. Oops. She has a handkerchief. <laughs> oh, no tears are coming out. Oh, lowered eyes. Oh, and her clenched hand, maybe? She's stressed. Oh, modest black clothes. <laughs> She appears I, to be very upset. <laughs> She's I got all the clues wrong. <laughs> okay, now we need to talk to her. See if I can do a better job with this. Ask about her relationship. Demand that she stops crying. Okay, the replayability of this game is that you would want to go through and say all the wrong things. <laughs> Just for grins. She was the only family I had since my mother died. Your aunt did not have any children. Is that correct? <coughs> she was separated from her husband. Mm. What do you think about Franz Asher, your aunt's husband? He never left her alone. Poor aunt. She used to drop by all the time and make a scene. Well, the husband did it? Mm. Ask if she ever thought the husband would go through with his threats. Was your aunt afraid of her husband? He shouted a lot, but she wasn't afraid mm. of him. Why, he used to slink away when she turned on him. He was afraid of her, if you like. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, say that a divorce would have been a solution. Or ask if Alice was all right. 
Did you haunt enjoy good ass? She had a bad throat, but she was well cared for oh. by a doctor in London. Does Franz Asher work? All he's done for years is drink and gamble, but he used to be a very good cabinet maker. Where does he live on? My aunt used to give him five shillings a week. Hmm. Franz forced her to give him money. No, I don't think he... yeah. Why did she support such a goods for nothing? He was a husband. She couldn't leave him with nothing. So I've got her at ease. I understand. Unlike the green grocer. No, 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 great assistance, <laughs> I didn't ask her about the inheritance, though. I feel as though that was a miss. Please take this young lady home. My pleasure. Well, this Franz Asher does not seem to be quite so dangerous as I've said. And since Alice Asher gave him money regularly, it was not in his interest to kill her. Okay. I think I lost my chance on the inheritance there. I think she would not have been at ease with that question, but I think I should have asked her that. Okay. Information in the book. Okay. Now she's a witness, not a suspect anymore. But afraid of his wife. Okay. Okay, so that's all we got in the book. Yeah, I do too, with the little mustache. <laughs> okay, so now we got to find Franz Asher. And what are our brain cells doing? What was she doing when she was killed? A time range. Oh, I think we can do that one, can't we? Whoops, wrong one. That was not the one I wanted. What was she doing when she was killed? Uh, well, we have all our little clues, though, so we should be able to do this one. A cigarette packet near her hand. Maybe she was smoking. Uh, this is the timeline one. Packets in a muddle. So maybe she was looking for matches. No objects of value. And she had just one wound at the back of her head. Oh, hmm. Let's go to the timeline one. This one. Oh, we have one mystery one. Found dead at 11, and she was seen alive at 5.30. Why do I have a clue missing? Well, it's clearly these two, though, right? Yeah, I'm going with that. Can we reduce this range? That might be our missing clue. Hmm. Okay, I don't think I can do that one yet. ABC guide on the counter. We can't explain that one. Let's see, are we missing a clue there? Probably missing a bunch of clues there. Oh, we're not missing any clues. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, so maybe it was... Oh, no, that was the, that's the ABC thing. Okay, so I don't see how any of those help us. No fingerprints on the guide. She was seen alive at 5.30. No objects of value for sale. So maybe it's those three? No railway guide, the ABC murder, and this one? How do we explain? That doesn't really explain the presence, though. Hmm. I was thinking if we did them, that it would clear the clues away, but... I'm not... And I'm, yeah, okay. I, I didn't agree with the killed on sight, but... <laughs> but we're going with it. 
What was she doing when she was killed? I guess if there's no question mark ones, then supposedly these are the clues that we uh, have to go with. So if we say she was smoking and she her shelves were a muddle and uh, not that one, though. I don't think it's either one of these don't and neither one of these help with our thing. What was she doing? Okay, well, I guess it does. Good. The murderer probably pretended to be a customer. He hit the shopkeeper from uh -huh. behind as she okay. turned around to serve him. You know, I have probably read hundreds, if not thousands, of murder mysteries, and I thought I would... None of this is making sense to me. I should be an expert detective after all that mystery book reading. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do any more. I think we have, wait, don't you go away. Let's see. Not my book, not that. It's this one. All right, only got two left, but I'm missing a clue somewhere. Uh, but not but not here. Hmm. Okay, we're going to save that one. And this one. And this one. Yes. Yes. The murderer deliberately left behind this ABC as a signature. The absence of fingerprints and the fact that it is open at letter A for Endover gives little doubt. Okay. Oh, wait, our little gray cell. So we're missing a clue. I don't know how we missed a clue. Can we establish the time range? Maybe because we got angry, got the green grocer mad at us. Maybe she was going to tell us. Okay, let's see if we can go talk to her again. She's not mad at us anymore. <laughs> I think we messed that one up. <laughs> I should have asked her about those dang lettuces. Oh, here comes Franz Asher. Wait, okay, I guess we're done with that part. We have Darn. to wait for him to sleep it off. He's all yours, Poro. There are a few things I need to check. That must be some way of sobbing him up. I wonder what his wife used to do. He must have scared the customers away. Oh, we're back in the shop. Okay, good. Let's see. So, information added in our book. What, that he's a drunk? I think we knew that already. Well, he's a suspect. Okay, he was a cabinet maker, notorious alcoholic with a violent and aggressive temperament. Wow. Real pleasant. Uh, okay, wake up. He's not in any condition to be questioned. <laughs> I have to find a way to sober him up. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Can we find some water to throw at him or some I've coffee? I've finished with this subject. Okay. I want to go talk to the greengrocer. I don't want to talk to this drunk. I fear that is the clue I'm missing. I think we finished with this subject, too. Nothing suggests any sign of a fight. Okay. We did that. Something back here we can throw at him? Oh, here's some coffee, maybe? No, I think we did all these things. There's nothing new. We just slap him in the face. <laughs> all right, we'll look this at all these things. Very simply. Again, just to be sure there isn't any new thing back here. This one's funny. He can, can preen a little bit in the mirror. Oh, I guess he's not going to do it again. Darn. Well, the first time we saw, he did his little... with his mustache. I've finished with this subject. Okay. Well, what are we supposed to do with Franz? What's his name out there? Franz Asher. 
still sleeping. Let's see, is there anything back here we can? There are sea guides packets in the mess. <clears throat> oh, maybe we, can we go outside and find something like the green grocer to give us some lettuce? Let's see. <laughs> oh, the vinegar! All right. Let's take the vinegar, man. Let's talk to her again if we can. Though I want to ask her about the lettuce. Oh, you again. Oh, she still I'm won't talk to say. us. Man, that was a terminal error, I'm pretty sure. Okay. A bottle of poor quality vinegar. Okay. The smell could awaken the dead. Let's take that. Will it let us pick it up though? A bottle of poor quality vinegar. The smell could awaken the dead. I don't know how to make him take it. Uh. A bottle of poor quality vinegar. The smell could awaken the dead. I, I'm sure this is it. Good morning, Onyx Black. How are you doing? I say good morning. I don't know what time zone you're in. It's morning where I am. Hope you're having a super day. Dang. I know it's the vinegar. How do I take the vinegar? Let's go talk to... Can we have some vinegar? We'll buy it. She won't talk... Oh. Well, I don't know. She just says... Oh, See? That's all she says. I've nothing to say. That's our whole interaction with her. Maybe because I forgot to ask... Alright, because I made her mad at the beginning. Now she won't help me. Let's see if there's anything else down here. Strawberries! Get your delicious strawberries here! Let's walk down... Oh, what does this say? This Shop this for rent. Oh. Okay. Oh, look, there's a cat missing. I guess we don't care about that. <laughs> oh, maybe it's this newspaper. So my uh, controller is vibrating. You get some haptics when you're kind of getting close. But so something down here on the floor. Look, here's another shop for rent. Man, this street isn't doing too well. Uh oh, I've only got one. Getting some vibrations down around here. <gasps> Rubbish. Oh, nice. Well, thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate it. I hope you have a productive day. I'm always trying to do that when it's my day off, and then somehow I just play video games. So, <laughs> I guess the cat is not. Although maybe with the missing cat, that's why we have that rat running back and forth. All right, let's see. We got one more clue. Since we missed a clue before, I don't want to miss another one. Empty shops for rent. Oh, okay, so that sort of encompasses all the shops. So her street wasn't doing very well. Ooh. Oh, I missed them out of the clue zone. Well, do check back in and, you know, let us know. <laughs> oh, it's in the middle here somewhere, I guess. <gasps> Crumbling. Sh okay, so we know it's kind of not a very nice neighborhood. This is a really cutthroat neighborhood. Yeah. Anyone could have committed the crime. Perhaps we should have gotten that one earlier. I think this is just the store. I wanted it to be about the cat, but I guess it wasn't. All right, let's try to go back and see if... Look, there's the cat up there in the window. Right here. Isn't that interesting? 
<laughs> I think this is not about the cat. I think it's about the storefront. This is yeah. a really cutthroat okay. neighborhood. Just and checking. Could have committed the crime. I think someone stole your cat. Cat, get down here and get that rat, man. Oh yeah, I forget this is not a um, a side scroller like Unravel. I can actually walk around a little bit more. Four pens, a letters, a lovely oh. love letters, four pens only. Can we please? Six pence a pound. Can we please buy something Dash. from you? Oh, I'm so clumsy. I walked in a puddle. Hastings is gonna have to wash my shoes for me. I think it all comes down to this lady. She won't talk to us. Oh, you again? I've nothing to say. I want the lettuce and the strawberries, and I want the vinegar. A bottle of poor quality vinegar. The smell could awaken the dead. Okay, maybe I have to go back in and have the, my sequence be in order, like where I say I need to find something to wake him up, and then go outside and get the vinegar. Let's try that. He's not in any condition to be questioned. I have to find a way to sober him up. All right, now we'll go out and see if we can get the vinegar. <laughs> the ego points thing cracks me up. A bottle of poor white vinegar. Oh! The smell could awaken the dead. All right, if anyone has an idea about this, please sing out, because I do not know what I am supposed to do here. Any guesses? Any guesses? Or does someone want to look it up for me? Let's see. I don't think we have anything in the shop to sober him up, because we've looked at everything in the shop. I'm just feel quite certain it's something to do with that vinegar and awaking the dead but since we made the shop lady mad she's not speaking to us anymore <laughs> she, we can't do anything of course I did have that problem with the laud number I had to look at it a bunch of times before it would let me um, wait what's back here oh new stuff I didn't look at this stuff Silky legs, what? It's Ali Sasha's notebook. Ah, that's interesting. It that is interesting. Maybe that's why we couldn't get the vinegar yet, because we weren't done. Maybe this will be our missing clue also. We'll find our missing clue. Bodley. The fruit seller Ooh. has dead too. She will probably be more cooperative thanks to this piece of information. Nice. Mary Drower was telling the truth. Mrs. Asher regularly gave money to her alcoholic husband. Nice. That was a good one. Okay, maybe now we'll get some progress on the vinegar. Look, here's the silky legs. Mm. A box <laughs> of new stockings. <laughs> All right. Yay. Woohoo. I don't know how I missed that before. Fine. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Well, that didn't help us with our timeline missing, uh, missing clue yet, but now I bet we can go talk to her again and get the vinegar. Hooray. Can we wait? Let's try to get it. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know what to do first. I don't want to make her mad again. <laughs> uh, well, uh, pretty sure she didn't kill Alice Asher, so I guess we'll accuse her of selling Your rotten fruit. fruit. Is rotten. Oh, a foreigner dares to say that? <laughs> that isn't really the way According I wanted to, to start that. Account, you order ten pounds for tobacco and magazines. That's a lie. She owed me one pound. I swear. You swear. Now, please be so kind as to explain this. Look at my account book. Alice owed me 11 pounds for fruit and vegetables. I may have had a slate at her shop, but she had one at mine. She owed me one pound. And that reminds me I have to get it back from her niece. That is quite enough. Your account book has saved you. 
But I might ask Chief Inspector Jap to screw in the cells for one or two nights while he checks your entries. You want to go to prison? Prison? Now that's not fair. I haven't done nothing. In that case, I am counting on your full collaboration. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Oh, okay. Listen, we got her around I her a different way. Alice, I swear. But it's true that I did go to the shop yesterday. At what ah, time? Ah, yeah, what time? Six o'clock. She left me a note saying she wanted some strawberries if I got some. I received them late, about six. So I took them over to her. Nice. But you did not see her. She wasn't in the shop, so I just put the strawberries on the counter and left. Hmm. I'm not accusing her of theft. Ask if she was alarmed. Did you see anything unusual in the shop? No. Well, maybe one thing. There was a Ooh, railway guide so on the counter. so she was dead before six, Alice then. Didn't sell them. Maybe it's the customer who left it there. So you I think now we know that she was killed between 5.30 and 6. Back. You mentioned medicine. Something for her cough. She used to take it a lot. Who do you think killed her? France. Her scoundrel of her husband. He was always after her for something. Well, he's a foreigner. Uh, sorry, sir. <laughs> what I mean is he's German. That's even worse. That's even worse than being Did a you foreigner. Did Asher enter the tobacco shop late yesterday afternoon? Well, no. But at that time of the day, the streets are packed. And I have better things to do than watch her shop. She's still kind of surly, I have to say. But we got a new clue, and I bet we can take the vinegar now. Okay, good. I was worried about that. I'll just borrow your bottle a moment. Take it. It's what Alice used to sober up her husband. Hmm. But try not to. Look at all the, the flies bottle. buzzing around back there. <laughs> this is kind of a sketch neighborhood, isn't it? Sales to work. Uh, I don't want to do that yet. Okay. Yes, now we can reduce the timeline. So, that one... So that one and uh, this one maybe because we know there's no wait what because the counter the body is not visible so it's one of these two because of the counter the body is not visible from the tobacco shop door no railway guide. We already know that one. It's really all three of those. Okay. Yay! Between 5.30 and 6. We had correctly deduced that. So hooray for me. I want ego points for... Wait, I thought we had the objective between 5.30 and 6. I wanted ego points for that because I got that one earlier. Oh, now look, all our people are back. Jap and Hastings are in the room. I guess we got to talk to the priority Jap. Is to question Asha. I guess not. Wait, what does Hastings have to say? The priority is oh. to question Asha. <laughs> so stop messing around and get that vinegar the over there. The priority is to question Asha. <laughs> come on, come on. Get your tiny feet. Over to the right guy. There we go. He's not in any condition to be questioned. Well, I already did that. To find a way to solve oh, let's see. I gotta get my inventory. I think. Uh. <laughs> Getting a little angry with the game there. <laughs> <laughs> I can say without a doubt that poor Mrs. Asher was killed between half past five and six. Killed when the street was packed with people. That's rather bold. It is rather I've bold. I've been talking to the neighbors and... No one's seen anything? Or rather it's anything and everything. Am I wrong? <sighs> no. no. It is rather yeah. bold. We must grill this villain Asher before he falls asleep again. Okay, hold on. Before we grill the villain, 
I want to check something with my lights here. I'm using you guys as my my test to fix my lights if I can. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, I can't do this. Is that better? That seems like that's a little better. I can't do it when I'm not streaming because I can't actually see what I... <laughs> All right. Let's talk to Asher now. Whoops, get back over there. Well, let's observe him first. He's a slovenly fellow. He is in a bad state. Clearly, he's disreputable. Look, his jacket's torn. He has blood on his lip. And that's really his nose, actually, but okay. And, oh, his knuckles. Look, his knuckles. He's clearly been in a fight. Oh, there's no, we don't get a thing for that. What are you looking at me like that for? Oh, but he has a black eye. Oh, black eye, split lip, torn coat sleeve, and I might point out this man knuckles. Has been and he smells of alcohol. I think we should have got one for that. Okay. All right. Now we got to talk to him. Get back over there. Get in the right place. Nope, not there. There. Whoop, oh, nope. All right. Uh, offer him a cigarette. cigarette monsieur. I'm going to soften him up. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> no, thanks. Bien. I was trying to be friendly, but you are quite right. Let us get down to business. You threatened to kill your wife, and now she's dead. So what? You shouldn't take things so seriously, sir. So what? Empty threats. <laughs> we didn't get on all that badly. So uh, you were on the take. We know that. Wife. Why did you not leave with her? She was the one that left. Nothing to do with me, sir. Uh, I don't know about this. Accuse him of ill-treating his you wife. You don't have treated her very well for her to run away. No, sir, no. I wouldn't say I'd ever laid a finger Eagle on her. points. But it was only normal. She was my wife. Are you often involved in fights? Okay, I don't like that answer. I don't know what you mean. That's right. He's a hypocrite. Uh, make fun of him. No, we're not going to do that. Asha, look me in the eye and tell me that you were in a fight. I'm looking. I'm looking. No, I wasn't in a fight. <laughs> you are right. Looking at the state of you, you did not defend yourself. So now we are so going to make fun of him no matter what. A beating? <laughs> a beating? No way. All right, he tore my coat and gave me a black eye. You see the state of him. Oh, you should see the other guy, huh? Who is the other that you struck? Probably best if I tell you everything. Yeah. Yesterday afternoon, I met Roderick Tanner. We'd bet on a dog fight together. An illegal bet, naturally. Yes, sir. Our dog won. Roderick got the money, but he refused to give me my share. Hmm. And you thought about it. What time was this? In the evening, about six, I think. Mm -hmm. We were on the other side of town. You see, I couldn't have killed my wife. Well, he's a scoundrel nonetheless, clearly. Asher's alibi appears to be confirmed. All the same, I'm going to call and check that he did have a fight with this Tanner on the afternoon of the murder. You can never trust this sort of chap. Exactly. One thing is certain, Asher was a ruffian who used to beat his wife. But he is not very educated. It certainly was not him who wrote the letter signed ABC. Let's resume these things. Widow the murderer pretended to be a customer. He did not kill her for money, that appears to be certain. I agree with you on that point. And the murderer left an ABC guide as a signature. Therefore, yeah. it's likely he wrote the letter. Indeed, but that doesn't explain why and how he did it. You are quite right. Why he did it is a mystery. But as for how he did it, we do know enough to try and reconstruct the events. Okay. By selecting the actions the killer may have executed. Okay. Reconstruction of the crime. Here we go, where we put it all together. The killer enters the shop. Oh, he's carrying a hammer. That seems a little bit... Mrs. Asher turns around to greet her customer. A little bold. 
Yes. Ask for cigarettes. Asks her oh, it's a cane, something. not a hammer. <laughs> she turns her back to him. He seizes the opportunity to strike her. Oh, uh, was it? Uh, turn around. Oh, not maybe not turn the book around. Let's see, what else did we note? Nothing, really. He then places the ABC on the counter before leaving. The ABC was not found like that. Oh. We are not far from the solution, Hastings. Would you mind if we thought about it a little more? Okay. The killer Here we go again. The shop. <laughs> Mrs. Hasher turns around to greet a customer. The murderer asks her for some tobacco. She and turns her back to him. Boom! He seizes the opportunity to strike her. This is good. It gives you a lot of tries, so... <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, turn around he is the answer. The oh, you know, I knew that was it, but I thought it meant he turned around, and I didn't think that was Everything correct. Okay. Scene, All Hastings. right. That is exactly what happened. Yay! Thank you for giving me another try <laughs> after I did it wrong. Asher has a strong alibi, and we don't have any other suspect. But what was the point yeah. of this crime? We don't know that she yet. She had no debts. She gave Franz Asher money regularly. She wasn't owed money. Nobody stood to gain anything. No doubt about it. The murderer is insane. Hmm. And hmm. I fear that we had not heard the last of him. I hope you're That's always the once. answer. The murderer yeah. is insane. Let's go back to London. If we hurry, we should catch the two past seven train. Are you coming? No, unfortunately, I have to talk with Andover police. So we've got to have the bee murder, I'm assuming. Are you coming, Hastings? Let's go home. There's nothing for us here. Okay. Well, do you have any idea about Cupid the Bow Mustache Award? <laughs> hmm. The crime was committed by a man of medium height with red hair and suspicious eyes. He has a slight limp on the right foot and a wart just below his shoulder hmm. blade. Poirot! Mon ami, what do you want? He fix upon me a look of dog like devotion and demand of me a pronouncement a la Sherlock Holmes. Now for the truth. I do not know what the murderer looks like, nor where he lives, nor how to set hands upon him. What shall we do then? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Do not be so impatient as things. The killer will manifest himself soon enough. I thought I heard the postman. Maybe there's some news. That was very fast. I would go and see. <laughs> or maybe it's the murderer manifesting himself. All right, come on. Let's go answer the door. Or get the mail. Oh, look. Here's the mail. I bet it's a new letter from the ABC killer. What do we think? Dear Mr. Poirot, well, what do you think? I believe that I won this round. Mm. The end of our affair went like clockwork, don't you feel? Yeah. But the fun has only just started. I would like to draw your attention to Bexil on Sea on the 25th of this month. We're having a crazy time. Best wishes, ABC. He's taunting us, this killer. The next crime will be in Bexil. We must warn Jap to Scotland Yard. To Scotland Yard. Did the letter indicate anything that might help the police? Well, be honest, Bexel on sea. I think we can already guess something about the next victim. But I need to think about it a little more. Yeah. All right, we need to, we need to get our little brain cells, maybe. Can we establish? No, we did all these. Okay, so we don't have any more of these to do. Whoops, wait, 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 wait. So, because we got to have a new victim before we have any of that stuff. Okay, compare the new letter with the first one. Okay, I'm not sure how we do that, but let's see. It's impossible to get through to Scotland Yard. 
Darn those Scotland Yard people. Answer the phone. Oh, let's turn the fan on. Except it might blow my mustache apart. Well, it's a pretty Some slow fan. <laughs> it's not the Bornado fan. All right, let's see. What's this? The Daily Flicker. Daily Flicker, June hmm. the 22nd, 1935. Battle over control of bank system. What will the government do for money? End over. Murder of a tobacconist. Yeah, we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, and I got the newspaper trophy for reading the paper. <laughs> All right, so we turned our fan on. We read the paper. I want a trophy for turning the fan on. You know, it's important. Let's try to see if they're it's answering the phone now. Oh, no. They need a better answering person. Receptionist. Can we eat some fruit? I don't know how to compare my letters. Oh, maybe they're in my inventory. Okay. I keep forgetting about the inventory. Use. Observe. Wait, I'm not sure. Okay, this Please letter B. Oh. Well, what do you think? We don't need to read the We're letter again. Crazy time. Best wishes. Okay, look how his A is dropped and his eyes are bold. That might be a clue. All right, let's see. Can we look at the other letter? Let's see. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I want to use the B letter. <laughs> I don't know how to look back at the A letter. I would observe it, but I don't know how to do that. I wonder if it's right here. All right, let's see. What's on the blotter? Thinking. I'm thinking. Hmm. I am thinking. Let us oh, here we go. Closely. Okay, so we do have a bold I and a dropped A, and we all know those typewriter things. That's a good clue. Certain characters in the two yeah, letters. Yeah, see? The gray cells are working. Is that all we get to do? Let us examine the characters in this word. Which word? Oh, just. Really? Which word? Oh, okay, wait. Let me start at the top. I'm not doing it right. <laughs> oh, look. One is Hercule Poirot and one is just Mr. Poirot. Let us examine the characters in this word. Wait. Oh, not that word. How about this word? Because we already got this one, but... So that's a little... Oh, and kind regards and best wishes. Maybe we don't care about that? Let us examine the characters in this and word. This word? How do we do that, though? How do we examine Let them? Let us examine the characters in this word. Let us examine the characters Stop saying in this that. <laughs> so I think we actually derived mm. all the... The W is not oh. printed properly. Hmm... Isn't it? Oh, look, it is a little sketchy. Is there one up here? Do we have a W up here? Clever clogs. Yep, here we go. Of course, the W characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. Yeah. I have to find some other similar defects to confirm my theory. <laughs> All right, and we got our dropped A. Yes, the A appears to be quite unusual. That's right. The yeah. A characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. I'm going to say we arrived at this conclusion find some other a little more quickly than he did. Theory. Yes, this I is weird. Do you think Poirot would use the word weird? I'm, I'm not sure about that one. No, I already know that the letter W was no. deleted in the two letters. It's just hard to get I it have to, to find some other similar defects to confirm my theory. It's hard to get an I. It's hard to get one yes. word. There we go. The I, I mean, one letter. The two letters to click on one letter. Have the same defects. My theory was right. These two letters were written with the same typewriter. Woohoo! We should get some 
Ego points Both for that. Both were written on the same typewriter <laughs> and show the same characteristics. You surprise me, Poirot. You usually ignore material proof. Do we? But there is nothing usual about this case, Hastings. That seems nothing must be overlooked. not good. If we ignore ma now material try and proof. Get our brain cells to work. Okay, what is special about the Andover murder? It starts with an A. Andover ABC guide. Theft is not a motive. Another A, Asher. Oh, only two things. Okay. So this and this. We are cooking with gas now. We're going to say he starts with the letter B. This is like Sesame Street. Uh... Yeah. So, Poirot, have you found something? Oui, I believe so. But I am afraid it is not enough to stop the murderer. Let us go and see Chief Inspector Chapa. I will explain there. There is a clue available. Available in this room? Leave Whitehaven. Is that where we live, in Whitehaven? Oh, wait. Look, my fan turned off. Turn my fan back on. Man, it's hot in here. Is there anything else I can do in my swanky apartment? There's a clue. He got his own copy of the ABC. Andover, Hampshire, population 31,200 inhabitants. That was in the train guide? Was that a clue? Uh, I'm not sure what that is a clue of. Maybe that's going to be a code. Look, he's got an alligator on his dresser. Gross. All right, Hastings. Let me just walk around a little bit more and then we're out. <laughs> okay, I think I've played. My fan keeps turning off, so clearly it's defective. No Let's take a look at it. Hastings is going bored. <laughs> <laughs> it may be time to go to Scotland Yard. I agree. Okay, I have to sneeze. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's go, Hastings. Bring your going bald self and let's get out the door. Okay, I'm liking this game. It's pretty funny. Oh, oh, that's where we live. White Haven Mansions. Okay. What do you it think? It may be time to go to Scotland Yard. Man, is that all you have to say? This is our cab right here. To Scotland Yard, please. Man, step on it. Uh, July 22nd in Scotland Yard headquarters, eh? About the B letter. Uh, this looks like a restaurant. Where is Scotland Yard exactly? Oh, maybe we gotta go out the gate. I wonder why would the cab have dropped us back here? Instead of right out in front. There's our cab. Oh, maybe it was out front. And now we go through the gate where Hastings is standing. But shouldn't we go in the inside? Or in the private gate? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I have some fun? All right. Like all hunters, Hastings has always been fascinated mm -hmm. by weapons. Okay. Let's look at your trophies, Inspector Jap. Your medals. Guess not. I guess we'll just go talk to Inspector Jap. He doesn't seem to want to talk to us. What else do you have in here? Have to get in his sweet spot, which is clearly not here. Maybe 
we talk to him from this side? Oh, we can look at his medals. Jap has invested a great deal in his career. Yes, he has. He's got some medals. <laughs> he has a certificate of merit. And uh, he shook hands with who, Mussolini or what? <clears throat> and he's a hunter. Okay. Surely we have been in this office before. Now will you talk to us? Oh, let's look at him. Jap appears to be snowed under. There's no snow? What are you talking about? Oh, he took his phone off the hook. That's why he wasn't answering. Come on, chap. You're wasting our time. Yeah, I got my own cup of cold tea, so I can relate to that. And we have a lot of papers on his desk. Because he's got very stubby fingers. Piles of files. That seems like a bad Jab name. Appears to already be overloaded <laughs> with work. My news is not going to improve matters. Yeah, he's not going to be happy to get our news. But Bonjour, get it, he shall. I am afraid we have some bad news. I have just received another <clears> letter signed ABC. The next crime will be on the 25th in Bexilon Sea. Are you completely sure it's from the same person? Yes. Yes, we I are. I have compared the two letters. There is no doubt about it. I suppose you think he's going to carry out his threats. No, he needs a shave. So. Good God, Poirot. Bexil is very busy at this time of year, and we have no idea who the next victim will be. And bags under his eyes. He is a... Uh... He's kind of a wore out man. All right, the next victims, the murder is unpredictable. <laughs> and he attacks old ladies. Okay, well, I think we're going to go with the letter that B. The name of the second victim start with B. <laughs> what on earth makes you think such a thing? I thought about it when I saw the name Asha clearly mm -hmm. written over the shop door of the unfortunate woman who was murdered in Andover last month. When I received the letter, <coughs> Bexil, and he signs his letter A B C. So there's that. Been chosen by alphabetical order. So it's an alphabet fiend. An alphabet I'm going fiend. To have a list drawn up of all the people whose <laughs> name starts with B. I hope there aren't too many of them. Yeah, what's the population yeah, of Bexil on C? You have a few days to prepare yourself. Thank you for coming, my friends. You're welcome. Chief Inspector Jap, your call does not bode well. I'm guessing the bee Gee, murder we has commenced. A young woman on the beach in Bexhill. An ABC was placed on the body. We'll be there as soon as possible. <laughs> At least we get to go to the seaside. Oh, look how pretty! Bexhill is a delightful town. It would be nice to come back and visit. It would be. I do not entirely agree. Walking at the beach damages my shoes, and it hurts my knee. Wow. So the years have not spared you, my friend. It's the same for all of us. That is exactly what I said to myself when I saw you back from your travels. Ha! <laughs> Poirot. <laughs> do not be offended, Hastings. I can see Jack waiting for us. And from his face, I would say that things are not looking good. <laughs> Uh, you guys, I think what we're going to do, uh, instead of starting on the B murder, let's see. I won the award for Mall. Well, it's Bexel on C, maybe? You've, uh, I've got a walrus mushroom, mush, <laughs> a walrus mustache award. <laughs> okay, so we're fairly close to what would normally be the end of the stream, like 10 minutes. So uh, I think we're going to stop here because uh, we don't want to do the bee murder just a little bit. Uh, so uh, we're gonna we're going to raid over to Dirty Diesel. I don't actually know. I can't interpret what the name of his game is, but he's a really cool guy. And let me just say before we uh, go over there is that Wednesday nights he usually streams um, 
in VR. He streams this amazing game called Walkabout Mini Golf. If you've ever, if you're in VR, you probably will have heard of it or seen it. It's a really fun putt putt golf game. And on Wednesday night, Dirty Diesel, all his family, they don't live near each other or they don't live next to each other, but they all get in their headsets and they play a round of mini golf in walkabout mini golf. So it's his mom, his dad, him, like his friend. And it's so much fun to watch. You, he's not too chatty because of course he's playing in that game because he's playing mini golf. But uh, I've told him that if, if his mini golf was a show, his mom is my favorite character and uh, it's hilarious and it's so much fun. But anyway, that's not what he's playing right now. Uh, he comes on here sometimes. He seems like a really cool guy uh, Dirty Diesel, Dirty Diesel MKY is his Twitch name. Uh, so we're going to go right over to him uh, and see what he is up to. Thank you so much for watching this morning and being with me and helping me out. Uh, I love hanging out with you guys. I'll be back at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time this afternoon with uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. And then at 7.30 tomorrow morning, we'll pick back up with the Bee Murder. Uh, 7.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. We'll pick back up with the Bee Murder here at Agatha Christie Mysteries. I am loving this game. It is so cute and fun and uh, Miracle of Miracles, not too hard for me. So that's really nice, too. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? We're going to hop on over and see what Dirty Diesel is playing. I don't know what the letters on his game actually are. So here we go. Thanks, everybody. I sure appreciate it. Oh, no. Maybe he's not streaming anymore. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Darn. Oh, well. Sorry. Bye, everybody.